Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. This week's going to be a quick tutorial on how to pair a replacement collar with your remote to your mini educator. So many of you that have trained with me know that I am an e-collar technologies dealer. Uh, and from time to time I have clients message me and say, hey, I need to buy a new e-collar. Uh, and I'll talk to them and I'll say, hey, why you got to buy a new e-collar? Well, I just lost my collar or I lost my remote. The beauty is you can just replace one piece. You don't have to throw it all away. So since, you know, we're getting a nice storm currently here in Kentucky, I decided, you know, let's just break down the steps on what it takes to pair your new collar with your remote or vice versa. Uh, you know, and I'm sure that this video is somewhere else on Facebook, but it's nice for me to have uh, videos for my clients and I can just send them straight to my face Facebook or YouTube and send them the link and say, hey, here's this video. Uh, that way I don't have to look anything up. I can say, hey, I actually covered this in a video. And you're going to see me start doing more and more on basic obedience that way as well in the coming weeks. Um, but before we get into this, don't forget like and subscribe. Uh, click that bell. Also, click that link below. Every one of you shops on Amazon, folks. You can actually order these on Amazon, but give me a holler first. Uh, click that link. It doesn't cost you a thing. Shop as you normally would. Subscribe to our Patreon. We're editing uh, those videos as well. We're getting started on our buried hides section. Um, and you're going to see us introduce a puppy to article searches as well. So uh, let's go ahead and just dive right in. All right, so I'm going to attempt to walk you through this. And hopefully um, we've got the camera set up to where you can see everything. So this is for the mini educator, the ET300. Uh, we're going to start with the collar off on the remote. If you see the remote right there, you see an M and a C. So we want to... On the back of the remote, there's that button, M and C. And we're going to hit that button until we have M only. Okay? So, now that we are there, we are going to make sure that the dial is on zero, which it is. We are going to turn this on and hold it for five seconds. You'll see it blink, and then I'm going to hold in these two buttons on the side. And then I heard the do re mi, and it is now ready to use. So we'll check it right there, and that's how simple it is to actually pair your new collar and your new remote. So hopefully that helps some of you folks out that have to order replacements. All right, folks, quick and easy. Like I said, short video. But I have had clients lose these, and you're going to start seeing me put some more videos that are just kind of tutorials for when people do like boarding trains and they go home and three, four months go by and they're like, hey, my dog's having a problem with this or my dog's having a problem with this. Or like the mini educator, I lost my remote. So we're, gonna, we're not going to completely step away from scent work. We're just going to continue to add more content, folks. Uh, you know, thank you for joining us here this week. As always, like and subscribe. Uh, follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, join the Patreon, and uh, show us some love by clicking that link below and shop on Amazon, and we will see you next week. <laughs>